Hello, my name is Mrs. Sharani, and I teach kindergarten at the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I have taught kindergarten for seven years now, and I am so excited because math is one of my favorite things to teach in the classroom. So I'm ready, and I'm super, super excited to teach you guys some math. So this is how our math in distance learning will work. Every day we'll have about five parts of math. We'll do some fluency to begin. And fluency is um, some short little games that help you to review some skills, that help you to kind of stay sharp so that you don't forget the things that you've learned maybe in preschool or um, in past lessons. And then our second part of math would be an application problem. And that is like our warm up, our getting ready for our big lessons. And, and these two things are very quick. Fluency and the application program are super fast. Then part three will be our concept development. And that's the big part of our lesson. That's the main thing that we get, we want to get done every day. And then part four will be a student debrief. And that's where we just kind of talk about what we learned and make sure that there's no questions and that we understand what we learned. And then the last part will be an exit ticket. And that's the part that you get to do before you are done with math for the day. And that is what shows us teachers what you learned in the lesson. So we have five parts, fluency, application problem, concept development, student debrief, and exit ticket. That will be, those will be our five parts of math every single day. And I will also tell you guys what you will need each day day before we start. Now in the classroom, I love to teach math with lots of different manipulatives. When I say manipulatives, I mean things like counting bears and things we can spin and places we can sort things. Um, but that's hard to do in distance learning. So you'll see me doing things on a computer screen. But I want to give you guys the option to do things with your hands along with me. So I'll tell you what you'll need each day before we get started too. So today you will need your hands. You guys got those, right? And something to count with. So like coins or little beans or crayons, anything, anything to count with. And you only need about three of them. So just that. And then if you could find some socks, maybe some socks that have matches, maybe some socks that don't have matches. So you need your hands, something to count with, and some socks. Now, if you don't have those things, that's okay. You can follow along with me, but I always wanna give you the opportunity to be able to do what I'm doing right alongside me, all right? So you can pause this video, go get your counting um, tool, your socks, and then come back. Okay, you ready to start? All right, so I'm gonna share my screen with you and we will get going on our very first math lesson of kindergarten and I am super excited. So I will make this nice and big for you. Today, we're going to start doing module one, lesson one, our first math lesson. And our goal today will be to analyze, to find, and analyze just means to like observe, be detectives, to find two objects that are exactly the same and two objects that are not exactly the same. So two that are the same and two that are not the same. That will be our goal for the day. But first, like I said, we'll start off, start off with that fluency and the application problem, and then we'll get into this main part of our lesson. All right, you ready? So get out your counting tools. Here we go. So first we're going to do some counting together with counting beans and fingers to three. So I'm going to put one bean on the mat. How many beans are on the mat? One, you got it. Now let's put another bean on the mat. And by the mat, I mean my hand. So you can put it on your hand or you can watch me put it on here. How many beans on the mat now? Two, you got it. Let's do one more. 
How many mat? How many beans on the mat now? Three. Let's touch and count now. Some of us, <coughs> excuse me, some of us are able to quickly count that with our eyes, but some of us need to touch and count. So let's do that together. One, two, three. Yes, three beans on the hand. Three fingers have a bean and there are three total beans on the mat. You got it. All right, let's do our next one. All right, now this one will be fun. I'm gonna say, show me beans. And if you have something to count with, you can put them right on top of your fingers. If not, just follow along with me. Okay, here we go. Show me one bean. One, nice. Show me two beans. One, two, one, two, two, nice. Show me one. Nice. Show me two. One, two. Good. Show me three. One, two, three. You got it. Show me two. One, two. You thought we were done, but we weren't, huh? <laughs> Show me one. One. Good. Last one. Show me three. One, two, three. Good work. Okay, now for this part, I want you to start with a closed fist. I'm going to use this fist. And we're going to practice counting up to three and then down, up and down. You ready? Closed fist. One, two, three. Good, now let's count down. Three, two, one. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Nice work. All right, let's get into our application problem for the day. So I want you to draw a picture of this blue sock. Pause and draw a picture. Hmm. Now, unpause. Is your sock exactly the same as this sock? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not exactly the same. Maybe you forgot to draw this little part with the, um, on the heel. Maybe you forgot to draw that little purple part. Maybe you forgot to draw this little um, gray part. That's where your toes go, right? Maybe you didn't put exactly as many stitches on that heel. And that's okay if you didn't do it exactly the same. That's okay. Chances are your picture isn't exactly the same as this. But let's look at some other socks and let's see what we can figure out here. I just came back from the laundry mat. I like to do laundry. I don't like to fold it and put it away, but I like to do laundry. Now I have to match up all my socks. Look at these two. These two are exactly the same because, so why? Tell your mom or your dad, or your brother or sister or aunt or uncle, why are these exactly the same? Hmm, these are exactly the same because they both are blue. They both have purple heels. They both have gray toes. And they have like kind of like stitching or maybe those are like stripes going down the whole sock. So those are why these two socks are exactly the same. What color are these two socks? Green. These two are both green, but they're not exactly the same. One is big, it's tall, maybe like a mom's or a dad's or a grandma or grandpa's sock. And the other one is, is small. Yeah, this one is small, it's shorter. So they're the same pattern, they're the same color, but they're not exactly the same because one is tall and one is short. Take a look at another page. Why are these two not exactly the same? Hmm. So in my classroom, when I want some my kiddos to say the answer, I will say, blurt, 
and then you can say the answer out loud. You can blurt it out. So why are these two not exactly the same? Blurt. Yeah, these two are not exactly the same because they are different colors. This one's blue, this one's pink. They have different heel colors too. Purple, orange, purple, orange, different toe colors as well. They have different patterns here on the top. This one's like zigzags. And this one is just straight lines, like stripes. So these two are not exactly the same sock at all. They are the same length, right? These could be the same person's sock, but they're not the same color, they're not the same pattern. Let's take a look at another one. Ooh, this is a fun game. So now, if you have your socks that I told you you would need, see if you can match up your socks. This is my son, one of my son's favorite games to play when we're doing laundry. So I'm gonna match up my socks on here. You match up your socks if you have them. Okay, here we go. Put these white ones together. And I notice these both have the same heel color and they're both zigzag and they both are blue. So I'm gonna put those together. Hmm. <laughs> oh, these are gray. Gray is my favorite color. And we have gray heels and darker gray toes. Okay, those match here. Hmm. Those are not the same color and they don't have the same pattern on the top. So those are not the same. Oh, here we go. Pink, purple, same. Here's the ones we did in the beginning, and here are green, exactly the same. How'd I do? Is your brain. Nice. All right, let's do the next one. Oh, okay, this is fun. So let's find some animals that are exactly the same. Hmm. I see these two birds, they look exactly the same to me. They're the same size. They look totally the same. What else would be exactly the same? Hmm, I think that these, are these dogs? I think those are dogs. Those look exactly the same to me. They're the same size, they're the same color, they have the same ears. These look exactly the same. I would match those two up. What about, hmm, I kind of think that's it. And here's why. What about these two squirrels? Are they exactly the same? No, they're not, because this squirrel is much bigger than this squirrel. This one's shorter. So they're not quite exactly the same. What about these two bunnies? Not exactly the same because this one is smaller than this one. What about these stinky skunks? Nah, not exactly the same. This one's tiny too and this one's bigger. So not exactly the same, but similar. Okay, last part. So now is our student debrief. Remember, this is the time we kind of chat about what we've learned. So look at these shoes. Are these shoes exactly the same? Flirt. No, these shoes are not exactly the same. This is like a soccer shoe, kind of a sneaker you might run in. And these are rain boots. These are totally different. I could wear these shoes to gym but I could not wear these yellow rain boots to gym. I would be tripping all over there for outside, right? How can you tell if two things are exactly the same or not exactly the same? How? Tell your grandma or grandpa or brother or sister or friend who's with you. How can you tell? Well, you can look at their size, you can look at their color, you can look at their um, patterns and their designs. That's how you can tell if they're the same or not exactly the same. You got it. All right, now I am going to stop sharing my screen with you for one minute. And I'm going to share my screen on something new called a Google Form. So remember I told you the last step of our math lesson, step number five, was going to be an exit ticket. So this will tell us what you've learned in math. And every grade at SAMI has a Google Form at the end of their lesson. And this tells us who's completed the lesson, who's watched us, and what you've learned from that. So I will show you our Google Form. I have to share my screen to my website and then I'll show you what to do. And I think that you guys are going to be 
pros at this. Oops, I have this bar that's right in my way. Okay, there we go. Now I can see. Okay, so here is your Google form for topic A, which is what this is. All the modules have um, topics and different sections. It's kind of confusing, but this is how I organize it. Topic A, lesson one. So you are going to look at these photos. Which photo is exactly the same as this photo? And then you will click. So if you think it's this one, if you think this one is exactly the same as this one, you would click this button right here. I can't do it right now because it's my teacher view of this, but you could click this one if you want to. And then down here, which photo is not exactly the same as this photo? Not exactly the same. So look at this one. Which one of these is not exactly the same as this one? And you would click that button, either this or this. Then at the bottom, there will be a little submit button and you can submit that and um, your teachers will, will get a copy and will know who, what you've learned from this video. And it will give us a lot of insight and help to move forward and make better and more fun videos for you guys. So thank you for doing that. I am excited to continue teaching math with you guys. Um, next lesson, we'll do something kind of similar, but not exactly the same. I hope that you had fun. I think you did a really great job. We counted. We did what's the same, what's not exactly the same. And then you did your Google form at the end. So great work today. I will see you guys at our next math lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye.